stop and they got off. You know, snappers probably. LT baby. <laughs> uh. Live shrimp. Jigging shrimp, baby. God, I can't stand a spinner. Whew. Okay. <coughs> I guess this is what I'm going to have to do with the charters. Had another really slow day today inshore. So afterwards, I said to myself, okay, let me just do it. Let me run out to MR. So here we go. Everybody's catching them, I know. But Dave don't catch them. I did catch one to jetties like this, exactly like this one time. But there's no fish catching to be hardly had in the river for some reason. And it's like it was absolutely dead today. So I had some gas left over, had some shrimp left over, and I said, what the hell? I might as well go do something. So there's a little baby snapper. I've had on two others that I couldn't stop. One broke me off, 20 pound leader. I mean, it's not a big deal. And another one came off the hook. So let's try it again. Yeah! Oh, broke me off. Woo! Yeah. That reminds me of shark fishing with spinners. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say about that. Broke me off. All right, well. That's what you get for for playing. Broke leader, broke jig. Time to turn on, tie on another one, and do it all over again. Whew. I had one just like that before. Hand me my ass. I have to turn on the camera. I have to turn on the camera. That's the reason you don't get the strike. like Blair Wiggins with this spinning rod. <laughs> Let me catch grouper snapper on the damn spinning rod. It's a Mogan. My arms just don't work this way for spinners. But it's the only thing I had on the boat. This looks like about the only size that I can land. Another little, little guy. <laughs> now 
Now that last one I just had, whew, he handed me it, boy. All right, here we go. This is about the only size I think that spinner's gonna land. Cause that last one ran so hard. Well, until that river straightens up and we get a calm day, I guess. This is it. Come out to MR. I'm, I'm like, that river has been killing me, man. We ain't catching diddly in there. And we're supposed to be catching, you know, drum and everything. So, good God did he get it. So, at least that's fun. That's a lot better than what we've been doing offshore or inshore. Trying for drum and everything. So, I guess this is it. Got to throw all these back though. I mean, it's better than sharp stick in the eye is what, is that what that's what daddy always says, right? So, I'm just not even, I'm just hooking him like that. So he can snap that tail around a little bit. It seems to be the deal, I guess. You can hook him like probably you do up in the river with double through the tail. I just wish I had one of my light bait casters with me. I don't, I don't really care to be the Mogan man. All right, well, let's see if we can do it one more time. One thing I have noticed, I mean, I, you know, I haven't bottom fished out here in years. I mean, I am, I am out of the loop when it comes to this. But uh, <clears throat> one thing I have noticed is throwing these shrimp on jig heads out behind the boat. I don't even know if they're hitting the bottom, to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't have a clue of what's going on. I mean, I know the current's pushing on it a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, I lost them. But what I was about to say is they're like trout. They thump the living hell out of that shrimp. I mean, it's boom, and they're on. Which, you know, I like because anything that acts like a bites like a, a shrimp anything that bites a shrimp like a trout you know I'm all over that like a stink on shit you know so looks like I'm gonna have to even just put in a whole bunch of MR marks here there's a couple people out here thank God I was just following a guy I said, well, he looks like he knows where he's going. <laughs> I was about half a mile behind him. I'd really like to get one, you know, like this big, just so I can say I did it. And then have to throw away the most prime fillets. Oh, right yeah. Back. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just broke me off. Whew. Every time I go to grab another rod. That son of a gun just completely almost snapped the rod in the damn rod holder. Man, that was a big ass fish. I go to grab this other rod and I turn around and this damn spinner is completely bent over. All I wanted was one more, but I wanted one bigger. That's all I wanted. And then I want to go in.
here you go. That's a real whopper stopper. I guess that's the difference of hitting the bottom or letting the jig just sit in the current. Man, what a sandwich. I could eat him right now. I'm so hungry. Oh well. I made it to the bottom with this with this rig. This one's still out there. That's a half ounce jig on there. I thought it was three eighths. It's a half ounce. So when somebody catches these fish, probably snappers, that I um, that I lost, and it's got a Sartreuse H and H jig in its mouth. Somebody's gonna say, what the hell? Look what's in this thing's mouth. It's got some trout jig in its mouth. Well, I got some little heavier jigs. Maybe that's what I need to put in the boat. Because I like doing, I like using the jig. I've always liked using the jig out here. Sometimes you can't, you know. Try, you, the current runs so strong, you can't do anything. All right, I don't even know what this is. This sea biscuit. Another fish you're not allowed to keep in Florida. Well, you can keep them in here. But that's a prime eating fish. Unless he's 13 inches, which is some stupid rule, you're not allowed to keep them. I mean, these regulations just. They really don't benefit. They really don't benefit anybody like me. I bring somebody out here and catch a bunch of fish and throw them back. But I guess that's better than sitting in the river right now and not giving away a bait. Okay, last straw McGraw, time to go in. Another little snap. Current's running so hard, I don't think that that half ounce jig's anywhere even close to the bottom. So it's not even getting hit anymore. I don't have any heavier jigs on the boat. The old spot back. They're so small, they got spots on their back. All right, boy, I'll tell you, I'd love to eat him. All right, time to go in. 